Hello everybody, my name is Light of Hand and today I'll be taking a look at Super Dungeon Explorer Guru or Guru Dungeon Boss by Ninja Division and Soda Pop Miniatures. Okay guys, this is the one that was voted for, two of you voted for it. I'm very sorry for how long it's taken me to actually get round to doing the next one. Okay, I'm also going to say this now at the beginning, I don't have a vote at the end of this one. So the next model I'm going to do is going to be Shadow Candy Mode. And I will probably continue to do the votes after that. It's just at this minute, I didn't bring the rest of it down, so I apologise. Okay, so let's take a quick look at the uh, back here. Actually no, let's take a quick look at the front art. I do kind of like it, it has got a very anime-y kind of feel to it. I like the fact it's coming along with this massive horn. It's just mouth. It, it kind of looks, I don't know, for me, because I'm a Games Workshop player, I, I see a, a, almost a squig. But this is like a giant rodent-y type of creature, maybe even a hamster. That's the hamster of death. <laughs> uh, we'll have a look, at, sort of have a look in a minute. The furry <laughs> Lord Guru has a mischievous nature and has been plaguing the warrens that scatter too deep uh, the wardens that scatter too deep into the fair forest for centuries Goro's nature has been twisted towards the darkness of the by the dark console and it is up to the heroes to stop him so you get a couple of things in this set so okay guys well if you give me a second I'm gonna open this up I'll be back in a sec Hey guys, thank you for uh, waiting. So, what I'm going to start off with is the Jiru, which are creepers. So let's take a quick look at the model first. Let me put my hand here. Now, it's obviously like a little smaller version of him. It looks like it's got some branch bit to whip you with. It's also got a little skull thing on its belly, the little horn as well. And it does, it looks like smaller manifestations of him, if I'm being honest. But there are six of them, and they all look the same. Okay, so let's start off with the arcade card. Again, I don't, I'm not sure how arcade works, but let's begin anyway. The Giru is a fur, fairy creep. They have five movement, one activation. They have a strength of two star. They have an armor of no stars. They have a range of three. They have one health. They have two yellow crystals. They are inconsecutant. I know I'm not pronouncing that properly, but hey ho. New crop. Place one monk or uh, kinshru shurum from the spore pool adjacent to a. Oh wow, so these basically bring in other plants. That's kind of scary. Okay, again, with the models that are basically inconsistent. A model may not draw a loot card for destroying a model with Inconsistent. Okay, so that's the arcade mode. Now we're going on to the actual classic mode. Again, they have movement... Oh, no, sorry, they have movement of six, one activation point. They have a melee range of two and a strength of two blue dice. They have armor of nothing. They have a will of three blue dice. They have a dexterity of two blue dice. They have one health. They cost one point to activate. They cost a one... They cost... Sorry, they have two yellow crystals. They're inconsistent and have mob. New crop. This is a support. Place one skull... Uh, one skull point of King's... King's Koru or Kodrama from anywhere in the dungeon adjacent to them. So that's different from the other one. Okay, we all know what that is. Now let's see what, oh, we all, I, we basically not mob is, but I'm gonna read it anyway. When making a melee offense, a model with mob adds plus one blue dice to the offensive roll for, for every adjacent model that has mob that is in range of their target up to plus three. So technically these guys could do a five blue dice attack against them, against the heroes. Okay, so now we're gonna have a look at Gori. But quickly, we're just gonna have a look at this here, Gori. Boss spawn. All elite and minions, minions gain fly. 
Time out. Gurry Swarm spawn. Six within two squares of him. Wow. That's not too bad, actually. And then you've got a load of his other little tile pieces, you know, like what the bosses have. Some are good, some are bad, mostly bad, but there are one or two good ones in there. Now let's take a look at the actual model himself. Again, I like... He's, he's kind of cool. I like how this kind of squirrel slash hamster slash field mouse looky kind of thing suddenly is this massive thing that looks like it will bite your head off. And it also got a lovely horn that it could impale you with. But again, like the Guri are interesting too. Just little versions of him. I do like that. I love this sort of evil smile and so on. Okay, so again, I'm going to start off with the arcade mode, guys. I don't know much about the arcade mode, so please, I'm going to apologise now. Okay, so he has eight movement, four activation points, has four stars of strength, has armor of three, has a range of three stars, sorry, and then range. He has 12 health. He has a red and yellow crystal he cannot be knocked down he's immune to bane feed me and it flies how the hell does that fly? i suppose flying squirrel devour plus one star of strength if devoured inflict and uh, inflicts a wound remove one wound token from guru medicine guri summon three wow Guri adjacent to Guri. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Feed me. Join the upkeep. If a model with Feed Me is suffering any wounds, destroy one minion within two squares of the model and remove one wound token. Damn, these, so these, this wouldn't be easy. This guy is actually would make it quite. I, I could already see how I could bog down players with this guy. A model with Fly treats difficult terrain, chasms, and statues. As open terrain, all non-blessing tiles effects in these squares are ignored. Statues, uh, statue squares do not block line of sight to or from flying models. Wow. Okay, so just just the health. Ah, okay. So I can. Okay, that's arcade mode. Okay, so now we're looking at classic mode. He only has a move of four. It's a big difference from the eight. He has. Up there, it costs four. He has four activation points. He has a melee range of two. He has one star, three blue dice, and one green dice for his attack. His armor is three red dice. Makes sense. He's a big guy. Has a will of three red dice. Has a dexterity of three blue dice. Again, has. Oh, sorry, wait a minute. It also has eight, eight health, and costs. Four console points to activate, but if I remember rightly, a console is allowed to activate one mini boss or boss for free within his turn. So if you if you had another mini boss, you could choose between them, and the other one would probably cost all the points to actually use. Okay, he's immune to knockdowns. He's immune to bane. He has feed me and fly. Wild spirit for one activation point. You get a range one. Purpose per pounce. Oh, it's pounce. Sorry. Devour, it's range 2, plus 1 green dice, so already I could see me as a, if I was a dark console using this. If Devour inflicts a wound, Guru ignores, uh, may remove one wound token. Wow. For two activation points, Biting Glare. Right, so that would be... Okay, that seems weird. I have no range, uh, range thing. Is it up there as well? Nope. Okay, sweep three, knockdown. Medlin Guri. Spawn up to four adjacent to Guru. Okay, feed me. I've, we've already read that. Fly, we already know. Knockdown, we haven't read in this video. A model suffering knockdown may not move or perform another action until it spends one action point or all of its movement points to remove the knockdown token. Arcade, a model suffering a knockdown may not perform a command until the next move command. Instead of moving, it must remove the knockdown token. We all know what mob is now, so what's pounds? Choose an enemy anywhere within five squares and line of sight. 
Place the model with pounds adjacent to the target, then make the offensive roll as normal. But it only has a line, it has a range of one. So I suppose you could pounce with five, and then hit someone with a range of one. I'm not 100% sure on that, guys. Okay, so now we're going to look at the treasure items. Okay, so this is a blue square. This is the Roaring Pendant of the Wood. Plus one wheel, plus one arm. For two activation points, roar, sweep, push, knock down. Okay, so let's put that one down there. It's another blue crystal. This one is the Vial of the... Oh, blank. Gehari Musk? Gehari Musk, sorry. Plus one wheel, you get two red... Oh, if, but if you have two uh, red crystals, you're, it's plus one... Plus one green dice to wheel. You can sp uh, Guri spawn. Wow. Only use once. Range. Range of six. Plus one wheel for each empty square adjacent to the target. Oh, well. Wow. Okay, so you can summon things yourself. Interesting. Rainproof parasol. Plus one armed. Red. Dice, or if you've got two green crystals, it's plus one green arms. The model gains fly. For two activation points, you can move, uh, fly with me. Support, fly. Okay. I don't know the song will come fly with me. Came to mind there with that one. Acorn of life. One red dice for arms. Root of regeneration. You, what, uh, you, one... Use only. Remove all wound and status tokens from a hit, uh, from a destroyed hero and place the model adjacent to the starter marker. That's basically a, a free coin. I like that. Even though they would be far away, I still like that. Then you've got a, another red. Red one here. You've got the Le Leprin Totem Mask. I don't think I said that right. You get one blue dice. For strength, or if you've got two blue crystals, you get one green dice for strength. Stealth. Okay, so enemies cannot attack you. Reduce the range by three to the minimum of one. Pacma Hunter. Support. Wave. Five. Capel. Compelling. Compel. Five. Not sure what that does. Sorry, guys. Springing Leak. Plus two blue dice to your melee. An option, leak wave. <laughs> okay, so it's a range. It's a range wave one, melee range range one. Okay, cool. Okay, guys. Well, if you like this video, please click like. If you'd like to leave a comment, please do. If you'd like to subscribe, please do, guys. Help me on the road to one thousand, guys. I don't say that enough in my videos, actually, because I need to get to a thousand, get paid again. <laughs> I enjoy doing this, though, guys. But it, it does help with like me wanting to go off to the events and buy little new stuff. It's a little awkward otherwise. Anyway, guys, I hope you're all having a good day. I I am today. I'm, I'm I've got I've got three unboxings done, but that probably means they can be spread out over the week. But I am. I'm also going to be at Salute this weekend, guys. So I'll be taking my camera to that. So please come. Well, come watch me, uh, it's not, well, if you're at Salute, if you see a little short guy with a camera with a rucksack trying to not get in people's way, maybe come say hello. <laughs> Otherwise, yeah, I hope you, if any of you are going to Salute, I hope you all have a good day there. I know I'm going to, I'm going to try and talk to people this year, so maybe I'm going to be there for a bit longer than I intend to be, but hey-ho. Anyway, guys. I'm not going to pick up as much loot though, guys. I don't have as much money as I did do last year, so yeah. Anyway, guys, I hope you're having a good day and goodbye.